Hey YouTube, Todd back here with another video from ToddKEdwards.com and today's video is going to center around another template tip about adding reference tracks. So let's get started. Okay, now we're in my template here as we can see. What I have done, I've made a folder up here at the top when I split my Cubase views. I have a video on that, you can see. Uh, just go back and look if you don't know how to do that or you just hit this little mark over here. And what I've done is I found tracks that I think best represent the music that I kind of create or the sound of music that I like. And what I do is I added them in my template here. I have some from Alan Silvestri, John Williams, and then I have uh, John Powell here. The reason that I have these tracks in here, it's not just because this is what I want my tracks to sound like, like compositional wise. It's the sound of the orchestra, the feel of the composition, maybe the feel or the sound of the room that I might be going for. So it kind of just makes it when I'm going to mixing or, you know, am I in the same realm of a, you know, a real score that's been mixed. So that's the kind of idea of why I add reference tracks to my template. And the reason why I find is sometimes what I'll do is if I'm composing a piece and then I listen to one of these, I'm just like, whoa, I'm way off base. The trombone is too, you know, way too powerful or the, the timpani. So it's kind of a reference on instruments as well. So I can kind of get the reference to make sure that, you know, my strings are not, you know, loud, louder than a, you know, a French horn or 12 horn, stuff like that. So it's kind of like reference for that. And the reason why I use it, I just find myself, it, it really helps, you know, especially when it comes to mixing. And if, you know, I want to capture a real live orchestra sound, obviously using samples, you're not going to, it's not going to sound exactly like a recording. I mean, you can get it pretty close, but there's always going to be things about it that you just can't, you know, recreate with without live players. So I hope this video helped. Do you use any reference tracks in yours? If so, please leave them down in the comments. I'm curious to know what types of reference tracks you use. If you have any questions also, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please look at all the other videos and hit that subscribe button. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I do offer some coaching. Uh, if you are in need with your template building, um, I'm here to help. Just go on over to my website, toddkedwards.com go to coaching and then you can sign up for your free consultation call with me and we can discuss what you need. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next video.